And now, here is the fellow to tell you all about our show, Harlem's mayor and favorite son, that clown prince of mirth, Willie Bryant. Willie Bryant, that's me. Thank you. Ah, you're a wonderful audience. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're glad to be back. Got another great show for you, too. Say, Tonight, Willie, we... come here. I, I want to see you. Well, well, no, well, Freddie, listen, Freddie, Freddie, Freddie wait a minute. The people, we have a show. You know, go, oh, yeah, go. Oh, yeah, but Willie, I got to see you right <laughs> no, now. I got now, to see you. Freddie, now. Freddie, now I'm busy. I'm going to put a show on. You, I... you, you can't bust in like this. But it won't take you but a minute, What Willie. do you want? What do you but want? I want a job. You yeah. promised oh. to give me a job, oh, Willie. You Freddie, mean, look, I've got... What can I do with you? I've got Faye Adams in the show. I've got Amos Milborn in the show. I've got the Larks in the show. I got, oh, I got so many people in the show. I can't put you in the show now. Yeah, put Freddie in the show. Well, you, you... I'm not ready for Freddie. I know, but well, I... I tell you what, I just thought of something. Yeah. Will you take another job for the time being? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you what... see, they want a receptionist down at the uh, library. Yeah. Uh, they say they want a man. Um, well, well, I'm a man. I'm well, a man. I, I didn't mean that, uh, but I tell you, well, now, this is a very funny job because you meet a lot of peculiar people down there. They have, you know, some people are very sensitive about certain things. Yeah, and yeah. And one yeah. woman in particular. One? Yeah, she goes down there every day. Yeah. This is the most amazing woman that you've ever seen. What's you know why? <laughs> she can actually read what you're thinking. Oh, no, I don't mean she can read my mind. She can read anybody's mind. She passes here every day. Funny I... thing, here she comes down. Hello, Flo. Oh, hello, Mr. Bryant. How are you? Hello, Freddie. How are you? I'm not kidding you. She can read what can you... Read. I you don't... heard her call you Freddie. You never met her, huh? But I don't believe it. Will you don't believe it? I don't believe in them things. Out I'm... of my way. All right. Out of my way, skeptic. You going over Yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm, go... I'm not going to open my mouth. Now, watch me. Thank you, Mr. Bryant. Hmm? All right. Thank you, Mr. Bryant. Thank you, Mr. Bryant. See what I tell you. Look at here. Huh? You didn't say a word. I'm amazing, isn't it? Did she know what you was thinking about? Everything I was saying. I kept hearing her say, thank you, Mr. Bryant. You know why? Thank you. You know why? <laughs> the first time I said, what pretty skin and eyes you have. That's when she said, thank you, Mr. Bryant. Yeah. Second time I said, gee, that's a pretty dress. I was thinking that. She said, thank you. Yeah. Then I really topped it off when I said, what a beautiful wife you'd make for some man. Oh, huh? boy. You see you, and she read everything you were saying. She can read your mind. I don't care what you're thinking. I'm going over. No, you're not. No, yeah, no, let me no, go Freddy, over. Freddie, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Remember, she can read what you're thinking. That's all right. I'm going over there. I you're still going over don't believe it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to Go see ahead. I'll watch. I'll oh, see. All right. Go ahead. Thank you, Freddie. <laughs> now, listen, Freddy, now what no, did you say? Wait, I told wait, I, I knew you were going to do something. I didn't so. open my mouth. It you wasn't see, what you said. I, what were you thinking? I was just thinking, how much did you pay for them false teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about ready now to start the show rolling with uh, some good music. One of the greatest musical aggregations in the country. The entire world. They top everything. And they're going to have a good old-fashioned jam session. You ready for a jam session? All right, let's get back now. Get ready to pat your feet in your hands because here is Lionel Hampton and the band. <laughs>
Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present to you one of the country's greatest and most outstanding record artists. A young lady whose records have created quite a sensation all over this old country of ours. She's here with us tonight. Here she is, Miss Faye Adams. Hi, Faye. Nice to have you here, dear. What are you going to sing for us tonight? Well, I guess it's every day. Every day. Uh -huh. Nice work if you can get it. Every day, Faye Adams. Every day. that this time it's mine I'm so in love with you every day I know our love dying oh darling can't you hear me cry to you at this time, one of the finest dancers that you've ever seen. Now, to stand here and make a long, long speech about him would really be keeping you away from a great treat. What? With as many Broadway appearances and nightclubs and theaters throughout the country? I bet you've seen him before. If you haven't, you're in for a great treat right now. Freddie, open the curtains, and let's bring on Bill Bailey. My good friend. Here's what Bojangles calls tipping down Main Street.
must be happy to present the next artist to you because I've known him for many, many years. I've watched his rise to stardom at many various stages of his life. And he started out as a nightclub singer in the theaters way back many years ago when he first went on an amateur contest. Today, he's one of the big names in the business. So here he is, Herb Jeffries. There's a song and it all belongs to you in my heart there's a theme and a dream that you made true now i know i must confess to you in this life i'll never find one who has such loveliness as you in this world, in this mind, in my heart, there's a song, and it speaks of you alone, of your lips, of your arms, of a love I've never known, then it says, Like a symphony And it ends And begins In my heart In my heart There's a voice and it speaks of you alone, of your lips, of your arms, of a love I've never known. Then it sings to me like a symphony. Then it ends. What is this? What is this? What does it look like? This is me, that's what it is. Well, this ain't the flying saucer. This is the sail in dishpan, honey. Well, sail on, honey. Oh, I mean, I'm just sailing all around, all over the place. Here, there, I'm sailing all over. What's all the sailing about? Well, you see, I was in to see my doctor this morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he looked me over, examined me real good. Uh-huh. Then he put me out the office. He says, man, go ahead, get out right quick. Go ahead, pick up and enjoy yourself while you got time. Uh -huh. So I'm just sailing around, picking up here, there. Wait a minute, fella. What? Cool down. What did you pick up in California? Well, they wasn't putting down nothing in California. You're telling me. Yeah, but I picked up and left them there in a hurry. I know all about it. Oh, but wasn't I glad to get back to good old New York. Oh, well, who wouldn't be? Yeah, good old New York. No sooner I stepped off the plane there, right in the station. There was a man standing right in the station selling $5 bills for 50 cents. How about that? Yeah. But how could that fella do that? How could he do it? They can do anything in New York to make a living. Oh, they can. They don't ask you how you got it. No. All they want to know is have you got it. Oh, that's smart, huh? Yeah, and they're waiting for you. You better bring it with you when you come in, too. <laughs> it must have been something phony about those bills. Oh, no. I wouldn't say they was phony. No. No, they was just seconds, that's Seconds? Yeah, well, you see, they made a misprint on the bill. Uh-huh. Yeah, you see, they had Lincoln's head printed upside down on it. So what? His mustache was where his eyebrows should be. No kidding. He looked just like John L. Lewis from the Strike of Oh, what? Yeah, 
there, but I'm going to get me a whole basket full of them bills, and I'm going on back out west, and I'm going to do like the doctor said, pick up and have a good time while I got time. Well, what's wrong with you, Freddie? I can't keep up with those nice, beautiful girls like I used to. You know, doing that mumbo and all that. Oh, Freddie, I'm surprised that you're worried about the girls. Well, I don't see nothing else in the world to be worrying about. Yeah, I'm worried. Well, I'm here. Yeah, I'm There's here. nothing wrong with me. I should say not. I should say not. You are you old. Not. Don't you remember that old saying? What old saying? You know, they say a woman is like a streetcar. You miss one here, another one along any minute. Oh, just like streetcar. Just as I... Yeah, but I'm scared by the time I get there... They'll all be going back to the car barn for repair. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, don't let that worry you. No, I won't. I mean, after all, you know, I, you are right. Oh, well, I hope I am. Yes, indeed. I'm telling you, I'm lost as I can be. I'm back. Well, what about your doctor? What did he tell you to do? Well, he told me to go ahead on and enjoy myself, but I can't get back there. Oh, you can't? No. Well, you poor fellow, I really feel sorry for you. Yeah, don't worry about nothing no more, huh? I should say not. Yeah. Well, yeah. why don't you try doing the mumbo? Yeah, see how easy it is? See, see, senorita. I'm too weak to take the trip. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the next artist is one of the great names in the blues and rhythm field. Although the tune he's going to play now is a real bouncy one, but it carries a very important message, and I want you to listen to it. Here he is, Amos Milborn. <laughs>
sad Now the blues have got me And I sure got them bad Bad, bad whiskey Bad, bad whiskey Bad, bad whiskey Made me lose my happy home Made me lose my happy home Made me lose my happy home. Made me lose my happy home. Friends, did you ever pass a theater or a nightclub when someone was coming out and you'd hear the expression used, say, hey, didn't she sing like a lark? Well, if that expression holds true, you're in for some good singing because I take pleasure in presenting to you at this time, The Larks, and here they are. <laughs> a couple of our cast to you right now because I want you to know them like I know them. Flo, yes, come here. Willie. Freddie, yes. come here. How are you both? Oh, fine, Willie. You know, you kids have been running in and out of the show, spatting, and I, I bet that a lot of people in the audience hate you. No, wait. And maybe me? some people hate you. Oh, no. But in true life, they're really wonderful people, and they are married. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how about the marriage, huh? Well, you know how love life is. Oh. <laughs> it starts off when you sink in his arms. Yes. And winds up with your arms in the sink. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> what do you say, Pat? Oh, well, I, I tell you the truth. You know, uh, marriage life is too many rings in it for me. Too many rings? Yes. What do you mean? Well, first there's the engagement ring. Right. And then the wedding ring. Right. And then the suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, it is, Willie. Oh, it's all right. I don't know. I still think I got tricked into my marriage, though, Willie. Hey, that brings something back to my mind. I heard a fantastic story. I wish you would enlighten me on it. What's that? Is it true that your little brother, when Freddie was courting you, slipped the minister down to the house and he got on behind the sofa? That's right. Then the little brother came through the living room with his baseball suit on and the bat? That's right. And he said, who likes the Dodgers? I said, I do. Then the little boy said, who likes the Giants? I said, I do. And is it true that the minister jumped up and behind the sofa and said, I now pronounce you man and wife? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wonderful you, life. Huh? Well, I'll always remember that. And, and another thing, I, it hits me all the time. Is that, what is this uh, saying about uh, English language or something? Oh, you mean the uh, English language being the mother tongue? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, it must be right. Why? Because father never gets the chance to use it. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now here he is, ladies and gentlemen, once again, that sensational man of rhythm to play another great number for you, Lionel Hampton.
Come on, boy, you can do it. Come on, ain't nothing to it. He ain't got nothing on the ball, Jackie, boy. Hit the ball. The bases loaded. Clean him, Jackie. He ain't got nothing but a slow, fast, inside, outside ball that curves. Hit it, Jackie. <laughs> there it goes. A home run. I knew it. Everybody's running. Everybody's running. Help yourself. Everybody. Get up. Next man up. Next man up. Who is it? What? Ball one. Who? Who's up? Who's at bat? Tell me, man. Who's at the bat? Hit it. Hit it. Hit it, Roy, boy. Hit it, Roy, boy. Hit that ball, Roy, boy. You gonna win this game for me today. Hello. <laughs> Hey, hey, fella. <laughs> yeah, what? I see you're quite a baseball fan. Oh, this is this is the day's game. The day's game of game of all games. Fine. You know? I, 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 I agree with you, but give me a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, I'm you know go. anything about baseball? Oh, me, I'm an old Great baseball game. Here you are. Help yourself. There you are. Go ahead. Hit How that ball. I want cigarettes. Oh, cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. How do you know this is the kind I wanted? That's the kind you got. Whatever kind you want, you got it. Hit the ball. You're really rather baseball, aren't you? Don't interrupt me. I remember, give me my change now if you're so interested. I got to go. Say what? I said, give me my change for my $10 bill. What change? Bill I just gave you. You gave who ten dollars? You. I, I box. Look, I only got four tens in here. Now look, fella, don't tell me I didn't give you ten dollars. Now look in that box. My ten dollars in there. Wait a minute. Hit now, the ball. Wait a minute. I'm not kidding with you. I want my. Look, I ain't kidding. You don't well, look, look in there. I, I got four ten dollar bills. Is your name on either one of them? <laughs> yeah, there it is, right there. That, yeah. Yep. Maybe yep. you're right. I don't think I remember this one this morning. I'm gonna give you a change. Thank you. There's six. <laughs> Seven, yeah. eight. Yeah, wait, eight. you know one thing you asked me and if I knew anything about baseball? Yeah, this is a great oh, game. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hit it, Gil. Hit it, Gil. All right, all right. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, let me slide out. Now, give me my change. What change? My ten dollars. I just hand you your change. Listen, you're so wrapped up in baseball, you don't know what's happening in here. Maybe I'm a little forgetful. All right, give me my change. What did you give me? Five cents, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah, nine seventy five. There's five, right? Six, yeah. Seven, eight. Yeah, you're talking about Gil Hodges. Now, that Gil Hodges is quite a baseball player. Wait a minute, he's at bat. He's at bat. Yeah, he's at bat again, Back huh? one. Yeah, Back one. I hear it. Wait a minute. He's on. Hey, Two men on base. Wait a minute. Don't, yeah, I, I'm look, sorry. don't interrupt me I've no got to go. Yeah, I've go ahead. Go. Goodbye. Change. No, no. Give me my change. <laughs> I just gave you a change. Go oh, ahead. Now, now listen, look. mister. Give me my change, now, please. Look. I know you're a baseball fan. You're all in twos, but I want my change. Baseball or no man. baseball, I just gave you a change for $10. You walk in, you ask me for a cigar. I'm not playing with you, fella. Give me my change. Now, $9.75. Who you think you're hollering at? Me, this is my money. I'm giving you my change. You take your change and don't ask me for no more because I'm running out of money. You know? Five, six, yes. seven, eight. Now that's all. Here's your yeah. 75 cents. Here, here's yeah. 50. Uh, uh, here, give me a quarter. Just give me a quarter back. Take the dollar. Now go ahead. Thank will you, you please? Thank you. Thank you. Please don't bother me. This is a game Listen, of games. You've, you've got a very under... bad attitude. Yeah, you got a Truthfully, bad attitude. If you've got that kind of an attitude and you're in business, I don't want your cigarettes. Give me my ten. I don't want your business. Give, give me my ten dollars. Get out of here. What? Give me my ten dollars back. I gave you your cigarettes now. Yeah, you gave. Here, I'm glad to get rid of you. There's your ten dollars. Now get out. I don't need your business here. Thank you very Goodbye. much. Goodbye. <laughs> you imagine him? Thinks he can make a fool out of me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce at this time a young lady whose career has been a fabulous one. One who's known throughout the world affectionately by the profession as Little Miss Sassy. And here she is. Sarah Vaughn. I look for my heart, it's Perdido. I lost it way down in Torito. While chancing a dance fiesta. Bolero. He glanced as I danced with Bolero. He said, take an office sombrero. Let's meet for a sweet fiesta. Yearning to lose Petito I look for my heart It's Petito I lost it way down In Torito He glanced as I danced For Bolero He smiled as he tipped his sombrero
Hello, How you doing, Uncle Willie? Hey, Nipsey. Oh, it's good to see you. Say, I didn't see you since we tried to make a date with those two beautiful girls. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah. How'd you make out? Solid, Jackson. Solid. Hey, how'd you make out? Stonewall, Jackson. Stonewall. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Nipsey, What's that? it really must be wonderful to stand up here and make people laugh. Yeah. To be a great comedian like that, gee, I, I wish I had that knack, you know? Nothing to it, Uncle Willie. Oh. You could do it. Oh, no, no. We me. could we could do it. You and I? We can be a comedy team and we don't even need to rehearse. Oh, no. This I won't believe. I'll show you. Not with me, you know? Yeah, I'm... with you. All right. Right here, Pro we can make them laugh. Prove it to me. All right, now all you got to say is, that's good. That's good. Or, that's bad. You mean to say we can make them laugh just saying, that's good, or that's bad? That's all you gotta say. Whichever occurs to you, you just say, that's good, or that's bad. And we'll make them laugh. We'll make them laugh. Wanna I, try? I, I'm ready. Here we go. All right. All right? Yeah. Uncle Willie? Yeah? I just got married. That's good. No, that's not good. I married an ugly old hag. <laughs> oh, that's bad. No, it's not so bad, because she is rich. That's good. No, it's not so good because she's rich and she's mean. She won't give me any of the money. Oh, that's bad. Well, it's not so bad because she bought me a beautiful house. Yeah, that's good. No, it's not so good. The house burned down. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good because she was in it. Now she's gone. I'll get all the money. And that's good. <laughs> I can tell right now that you're going to be a wonderful audience. And with a great, warm reception like this, we just can't miss. Well, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Ready for a good show? I'm ready to present it to you. Presenting at this time a gentleman of royalty in the musical world with a great musical aggregation. So let's get together and you'll say that's good as we present to you Count Basie and the orchestra. <laughs>
sign now to sort of slow the tempo down and introduce you to some real solid groove, music that's sound as a rock. In fact, I'd like to present to you a man who wisened the world up about what the blues is all about. They call him Big Joe Turner, the daddy of the blues, and I'd like to set a tempo sort of like this for him to bring him on so I can give him to you. Hey, Joe! Hey, Big Joe Turner! Come on in! sort of get into what they call a jumping mood. You know what I mean by jumping mood? Well, that's uh, sort of a slang for getting with it and let's boot it. And I got four boys here who can really boot it for you. Are you ready for them? So let's boot it up. The Delta Rhythm Boys. Shoulder bone, shoulder bone, 
pleasure to present you an artist that I've greatly admired since I first had the pleasure of seeing and hearing her on our show. And we're mighty happy to have her back with us again, and I'm sure that you're going to enjoy just as much as you did the last time. And here she is, Martha Davis and her spouse. <laughs> Goodbye. Read all about your trip away. All the columns say you just love to play. Just one thing to say, and that is, honey child, <laughs> goodbye. I don't want to hear from you. I don't want to know where you're at. I don't want to meet you, you bum you. Gonna hit you with the little baseball bat. Now will you please? I mean, away. Let the doorknob hit you, but the boogeyman bit you. All I got to say is, honey, goodbye. Keep loving and living. 
living in sin Till we meet you once more I think I'm gonna do just a little old living myself And Satan's back door Goodbye forever I'll see you never Off we the same Adios Au revoir And goodbye And now for a fast change-up. You know, when a pitcher gets a 3-2 count on a batter, you know what he does, don't you? He comes in with that fast ball. Well, on deck out here, we got a little slugger who refuses to be pitched out. And I'm sure that you will agree with me when I say he's one of the greatest. And here he is, Lil Buck! <laughs> who refuses to be struck out. He's a hard hitter. And speaking of hits, well, there's a guy standing on the uh, on deck circle right now waiting to come on, and he's more or less been a hit every time he's been on the Harlem Variety Review. He's more or less a regular. I would say that his batting average is about a thousand. I'm sure that you'll agree with me too. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, that home run hitter of songs, Nat King Cole. She feels so sad Sitting by the ocean Me heart she feels so sad Don't got the money To take me back to Trinidad Fine Calypso woman She cooked me shrimp and rice Fine Calypso woman She cooked me shrimp and rice these Yankee hot dog don't treat me stomach very nice. In Trinidad, one dollar buy papaya juice, banana pie, six coconut, one female goat, and plenty fish to fill the boat. One bushel bread, one barrel of wine, and all the town. She comes to dine, but here is bad one dollar buy. Cup of coffee, ham on rye. Me throat, she's sick from necktie. Me feet, she hurt from shoes. Me pocket full of empty. I got calypso blue. Give me big scare Is black the root Is blonde the hair Her eyelash fall 
girls, her face is paint and pads are whitey girls, she ain't. She jitterbug when she should waltz. I even think her name is false. But Calypso girl is good a lot. Is what you see, is what she got. Sitting by the ocean, me how she feels so sad. Don't got the money to take me back to Trinidad. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Thinking about the money that I owe you. Uh-huh. And I just couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep? No, I had to get up out of my bed to come over and find you and tell you <laughs> that I can't pay you. Now you fix it so I can't sleep. How come you can't pay me? The races. Oh, low down hound. Hound? What kind of races do you play? Horse races. What track you play at? I play over here. That track's crooked. <laughs> Why don't you play over here around? That's where I lost my money. Yeah. How much did you lose? I lost you about... You didn't have that much. <laughs> no. No, all you had was... I had more than that. Yeah. I bet on a horse, and that rascal didn't come in. Was he that far behind? <laughs> yeah. Who was the jockey riding him? A jockey by the name... He can't ride. <laughs> no, I thought he went out here to ride for... He Mr. did, but they fired him. He came home back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and do you know what he did? What? Let me tell you, boy, he... You should have had him arrested. <laughs> now, the horse you should have bet on was he number... He was scratched. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, Dan, hmm? you don't look so good. No, I don't feel so good either. Oh, why, why don't you go away? Take a little, little trip for your health. Yeah, I think I'll go out here to... Uh... Don't go out there. They filled up. <laughs> I would suggest that you go over to... And get 10 years. If you went, how would you go? Driving. Driving what? A uh, 1900 and... You'll never make it. Hey, look here. Uh, what time is it? Well, now it's is almost... Is it that late? Yeah. I got to go over here and see... She's not at home. Well, where is she? I think she went down... I'll see her then. You take it easy. All right. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> That's why I like to talk to man, Dan. We always understand each other. But let me tell you... I did go to the racetrack. Went to the racetrack, I had a roll big enough to choke a horse. That's what I should have done, was choke that rascal instead of betting him. <laughs> I bet $15 on a horse's nose, found out after the race I could have bought him for 10. <laughs> I didn't mind him getting left at the post. That could happen to any horse. But when he stopped in front of the grandstand and asked me, which way did they go? That's when I gave up. <laughs> and I thought I had a good horse. He left the post 20 to one. Came in at quarter after five. <laughs> the horse ran so slow that the jockey actually felt guilty. He felt guilty. When he got in the stretch, the jockey started to give him the whip, you know. The horse stopped. Looked back at the jockey and said, Man, what are you hitting me for? There's nobody behind us. <laughs> I left. Walked around to the little place where they were serving drinks. All of a sudden, a guy walks into the bar. He had his handkerchief up to his neck like this. He raps on the bar. The bartender comes over. Says, What can I do for you? The guy said, Barton, do you want a drink? Barton said, don't I know you? He said, where you been? Over to the racetrack? He said, did you, did you win? You bet? You lose? How much you lose? Barton said, two dollars. The Barton said, two thousand dollars? Bartender said, gee whiz, if I lost $2,000 on the races, my wife would cut my throat. <laughs> and now it's a pleasure to present to you Cab Calloway. A story about Minnie the Moocher. She was a red, a hot, huge coocher. She was the roughest, toughest frail. Minnie had a heart as big as a whale. Hi, 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 Oh, 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 oh,
the king of Sweden. He gave her things that she was needing. Once a dozen courses She had a million dollars Worth of nickels and dimes And it counted them all A million times Hi, hi, hi Hi, 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 hi Oh, 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 Present to you at this time a young lady who just a few months ago was tabbed the mama girl and had she cried papa i would have been there oh she's so gorgeous she's so beautiful she's so sweet she's so wonderful hello you Ruthie. know what willie what you say the sweetest things yeah you know i kind of like you too go on you're clever you're dynamic go on you're terrific and go on. most of all you're so handsome handsome you mean handsome Oh, forgive me, Willie. I really couldn't remember everything you told me to say about it. Oh, girl, go on and sing. That I will. Every time it rains, I think of you. And at the time, I feel so blue. When the rain starts to fall in, my love comes down and down, and it's raining. present the great Count Basie and his orchestra. Basie! 